Series of videos for installation of ARA Data Capture Tool. Installing ARA Capture Tool. This training video will show you how to install ARA Biodiversity Information Management System. ARA is a system that, to provide greater flexibility and performance, has a multi-level structure. Therefore, it is necessary to install different software tools at each level. The complete installation process consists of five steps. 1. Installing PostgreSQL Database Management System 2. Installing Java Application Server Enterprise Edition 3. Creating ARA Database 4. Copying Hibernate and PostgreSQL Libraries 5. Installing ARA System It is a requirement that Java is present on the computer where the installation will be carried out. It is also important to record writing on a safe place all usernames and passwords to be requested by the installer. To start the ARA installation process, please locate the ARA installer.jar file and double click on it. Then, Choose the language that will be used during the installation process. Once at the main screen of the installer, you can proceed to install PostgreSQL. 1. Installing PostgreSQL Database Management System The first required data are those for service configuration to be used at the operating system level. To this effect, a name and a password for the superuser whose task will be to run the database server process will be requested. Please answer yes to the question of whether you want this user account to have log on as a service rights. At the cluster initialization section of the database, enter the information related to port number, regional configuration, encoding, client, administrator name and password, as shown on the video. At the Procedural Languages Enable screen, make sure to select the PL slash PGSQL option. After this, the installer will copy the necessary files. Once the process of copying files finishes, Disable the Launch Stack Builder and Exit option. 2. Installing Java Application Server Enterprise Edition. The application server is the program that allows ARA to be executed simultaneously by multiple users on computers connected via either a local network or the Internet. After asking for the installation folder, the installer will ask for a name and a password for the administrator. It is recommended to accept the suggested values for ports unless they are already being used by another installed application. After that, the installer will copy the files necessary to run the application server. Once the process of copying files is complete, if you do not want to register your product at this time, select Skip Registration and click on Next. Finally, click on the Start Server button for the application server to start working. 3. Creating ARA Database to create the database that will store all the information of ARA, the installer will ask for the name and the password you specified at step 1 for the PostgreSQL superuser. Four, 
copy in Hibernate and Postgre SQL libraries. To copy Hibernate and Postgre SQL libraries, you will only need to click on the copy button. 5. Installing ARA system. Finally, at step 5, you will be prompted for name and password of the administrator user of the application server installed at step 2. The installer will automatically perform all necessary actions and will display all the users and passwords used in order for you to record them, if you have not already done so. ARA is already installed. To test it, open a window in a web browser and type the address http colon slash slash localhost colon 8080 slash ARA dash web. This way, you can see the system login screen where there is also a functionality to change the language.